Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 30th of October, Friday of the week of Pentecost 21, C.S. Lewis, 1898-1963, from his letters. All our prayers are being answered and I thank God for it. The only, possibly not necessarily, unfavorable symptom is that you are just a trifle too excited. It is quite right that you should feel that something terrific has happened to you. Accept these sensations with thankfulness as birthday cards from God. But remember, they are only greetings, not the real gift. I mean that it is not the sensations that are the real thing. The real thing is the gift of the Holy Spirit, which can't usually be, perhaps not ever, experienced as a sensation or emotion. The sensations are merely the response of your nervous system. Don't depend on them. Otherwise, when they go, you are once more emotionally flat, as you certainly will be quite soon. You might think that the real thing has gone too, but it won't. It will be there when you can't feel it, maybe even be operative when you feel it least. Don't imagine it is all going to be an exciting adventure, adventure from now on. It won't. Excitement of whatever sort never lasts. This is the push to start you off on your first bicycle. You'll be left to lots of dogged pedaling later on. And no need to feel depressed about it either. It will be good for your spiritual leg muscles. So enjoy the push while it lasts, but enjoy it as a treat not as something normal. The Prayer, John Henry Newman, 1801-1890. Teach us, O Lord, and enable us to live the life of saints and angels. Take us out of the languor, the irritability, the sensitivity in us, the anarchy in which our souls lie and fill them with thy fullness. Breathe on us with thy breath, which infuses energy and kindles fever. In asking for fever, we ask thee for all we need and all thou canst give. In asking for fever, we are asking for faith, hope, and charity in their most heavenly exercise. We are asking for that loyal perception of duty, which follows on yearning affection. We are asking for sanctity, peace, and joy all at once. Nothing would be a trouble to us, nothing a difficulty, had we but fever of soul. Lord, in asking thee for fever, we are asking for thyself. Nothing short of thee, O God. Enter our hearts and fill them with fever by filling them with thee. Amen.